Yeah, hi there, and uh, I am looking at your integrated writing practice test number one. And uh, you read a reading passage talking about three specific things uh, in order for businesses to succeed, and then the lecture disagrees with each of those points, so I just read your essay. So my first impression right now is 2.0 out of 5, 14 points out of 30, or... If this were the midterm exam in this class, I'd give you 64% out of 100. So uh, I looked at the rubrics, and I think here you left out an important point, uh, I think either from the reading passage or the lecture, so you didn't exactly organize your ideas the way that you needed to. All right, so what is it exactly that you can do to make this essay better? Okay, so let's take a look at the beginning. And also we can put, let me make sure I can get both of them here together. Okay, here we go. I want to be able to see I want to look at the reading passage side by side along with what you wrote. Okay, so you say here the reading passage talks about how businesses can be successful and the speaker gives suggestions for a successful businesses. It's, it's true, but you're not really showing how the lecture is disagreeing with the points mentioned in the reading passage. So your purpose in the introduction is to show how the listening relates to the information in the reading. So I would say something like this. The reading passage talks about how businesses can be successful in the speaker. You might say the speaker opposes each tip mentioned in the reading passage. All right, let's go to the next paragraph. So the reading passage discuss successful business depend on how companies choose their employees, promote them to have good businesses. If employees pass all the steps of the writing process, they take uh, in addition, speaker agrees with the reading and writing processes, but is that the first point? No, that's the third point. That's the final point in the reading, I think, and the lecture. So this idea needs to be reordered. We need to put this here. So you're getting a little bit mixed up on what information came in what order. So we'll say third of all here, here we will say second of all, and here we'll say first of all. Notice how I am trying to keep my transition words parallel, first of all, second of all, third of all. All right, so I think we're moving in the right direction here. Okay, so secondly, we have in the reading passage, employees should attend all company meetings. And I think for the most part, you're in pretty good shape here. So let's look at what. And what you're trying to do here is to, you're basically just trying to put the main point from the reading along with the main point of the lecture. I wasn't requiring you to do all the details, so this is good. Converse with the speaker argues. You might say something like this, that long meetings are not useful since most employees will stop paying attention.
says that short meetings, you need a verb in here. So short meetings are better than long meetings. And let's look over here, what is exactly the point that's being mentioned here? So we have, um, according to the lecture here, we have short meetings are useful for discussing controversial issues. I think we're okay. So you have second of all, the writer writes about the employees should be provided with supplementary reading materials. I'm going to say here the author, instead of saying writer writes, the author writes here you need a connector, not a preposition. So the author writes that the employees should be provided with supplementary materials and that they maybe should read all documents. You might say something like that. And the lecture here, it says, um, You don't need to read the full text of everything you come across. We see that. It says only a very small part of the article is vital. And that's what you said. The speaker says it's not important to read all the details. Okay, I think we're good here. Okay, let's take a look at your final paragraph. Third of all, the reading passage discussed, and I would use here, use present tense verbs to explain the information, uh, and then be consistent throughout your uh, essay as you do that. You say, reading passage discusses successful business depending on how companies choose their employees and promote them to have good businesses. And let's go into the reading passage here and see what we have. It doesn't really say that. I don't know where you're getting all this information from. So most of what you're saying here is not even needed, and it's not really what's being explained in the reading passage. So it's saying here, uh, these employees should not separate the steps in the writing process because it's time consuming. They should write the document all at once. So when writing important documents, maybe such as reports, employees should skip.
they should skip the steps of writing processes I'm going to say inefficient. See, this is where you get into a lot of trouble here with what you're saying. So this is, this is completely misrepresenting the information from both the lecture and the reading passage. You're saying the speaker agrees with the reading passage about the writing process. It should be step by step. That's false. Because if we look at what happens in the, uh, the lecture, it says the final suggestion that it is important is helping other employees become more efficient is to follow the steps in the writing process. And the reading is saying not to follow the steps in the writing process. That's why I said here, when writing important documents such as reports, employees should skip the steps of the writing process because following these steps is time consuming, thus making companies less efficient. In addition, you can't say in addition here, you want to say in contrast, the speaker disagrees with the reading passage and argues that workers should, how about adhere means follow, they should follow the stages of the writing process because it saves time and improves. Um, you see this word accurate here? Improves accuracy. And I think we have it. So that's what we had to do. So with yours, you had some problems ordering or arranging the information. And then when you got to reading point number three, and then lecture point number three, you got kind of mixed up on what was happening in both of those uh, sources. And that's why I gave you a score 2.0 out of 5, or 14 points out of 30 on this particular practice test. Okay, so the, the final thing I want to do now, you can see the essay here. Maybe I'll read it one more time here, just make sure we got all the corrections. So the reading passage talks about how the businesses can be successful, and the speaker opposes each tip mentioned in the reading passage. First of all, in the reading passage, employees should attend all company meetings. Conversely, the speaker argues that long meetings are not useful since employees will stop paying attention and says that the short meetings are better than long meetings because controversial issues can be discussed. Second of all, the author writes that the employees should be provided with supplementary materials and that they should read all documents, including concentrating on all the details. However, the speaker says it is not important to read all details and the materials that employees are reading. Third of all, according to the reading passage, when writing important documents such as reports, employees should skip the steps of the writing process because following these steps is time consuming thus making companies less efficient. In contrast, the speaker disagrees with the reading passage and argues that workers should adhere to the stages of the writing process because it saves time and improves accuracy. This is where you got yourself into a lot of trouble, right here. You weren't accurate 
in your explanation of the information in the reading passage in the lecture, and you didn't put it in the right order in which it was presented. So that, that also caused some trouble. Now the next thing is, is there are some things that you can do right now that can help you improve your writing. So I'm going to give you some suggestions. Make sure you write these things down in your notes. And you can review these notes later on before you take your midterm exam and also your final exam in this course. All right, I'd like you to look at lesson number seven in the grammar part of my course. This is step number two. Lesson number seven. Uh, lesson number nine, multiple clauses. Also, I'd like you to take a look at prepositions, lesson 21. Lesson 24, gerunds and infinitives. And also lesson number 26, sentence variety. And one more, lesson number 27, being more concise. So check out those lessons. This will help you to improve your writing where you are right now. Okay, in step four, the listening part of my course, take a look at lesson number one, note taking. Go through that video and take notes, for goodness sake, right? And try to follow some of what you learn in that lesson. Now, if you go to step five in the reading, also I have a good lesson on note taking on reading passages. Take a look at that, lesson number one, pre-reading, reading, and note taking strategies. So these are things that you can do right now. There's no mystery. If you go through these lessons, study these things, this will help you get better uh, with your writing. All right, so thank you for completing this integrated writing practice test.